true love and getting engaged is easy. It's planning a wedding that's hard. We gotta think of a photographer, a band, invitation. But with a little bit of luck, the winners are Liz and Colin from Metairie, Louisiana. <laughs> and help from the best in the business. This one, I think, might be really nice for you. And I'm having the wedding of my dreams. I met Liz uh, senior year of high school. We had a mutual friend together, and uh, we went to dinner one night, and I guess that's when the sparks started flying. I told some mutual friends of ours, I said, I could get a date with this guy, he's too cute. So we went on a few dates, and then the rest was history. I hooked him in, and <laughs> been around ever since. Colin and I dated throughout college, and a few years after graduation, I started to drop some not so subtle hints. I was pushing for a proposal a little bit, kind of teasing with him, just with it being so long. But I wasn't expecting it on the night that it happened. When I decided to propose to Liz, I knew that I wanted to do it in City Park. They decorate it every year for Christmas. The setting is just so magical. I got Liz to sit on Santa's lap, and I asked her to marry me. And I just started crying. I couldn't help it. I didn't even say yes, I don't think. I think you had to ask me twice. And she was, was crying before, and then when I told her it was my mom's ring, she started crying even more. Colin's mother passed away in 2006 from breast cancer. My mom was first diagnosed with cancer uh, before I was born, but my mom was very strong, never really let anything get her down. Her family is what kept her really going. She really wanted to see me and my brother grow up. She always had such a, a brightness and a life about her. It was inspiring to everyone that met her. I feel like it was such a, an amazing time. I feel like my mom was watching down, very proud of me and Liz, just for everything that we've been through. Once I said yes, <laughs> Colin thought he was off the hook and he thought, you know, I'm done. I just got to show up at the altar. And so I started looking into wedding planning. We got to think of a photographer, a band, a, a reception place, what kind of music we want, invitations, bridesmaids and groomsmen suits. There's just so many details. And that's when we started looking into destination weddings or eloping and just the two of us on a beach somewhere. Liz came across the uh, wedding contest, um, just browsing through the internet, win a contest, a dream wedding by Martha Stewart. The winner also gets their wedding featured in Martha Stewart Weddings Magazine. All you have to do is send in a creative 90 second video telling us why you should win a wedding in paradise. All right, you can make a video for this, which is one of my hobbies. I love to do it. So Liz had the idea of, hey, why don't we do a movie trailer? So we kind of just went off of that. How do you even plan a wedding? Do you know how much it's gonna cost? What are we gonna do? If only someone like Martha Stewart Weddings were giving away a dream wedding in the Sandals at the Bay in the Bahamas. So we put it up there, and a few weeks later we got a call from a Martha Stewart show producer who said, you guys are being considered as a finalist. And then we're like, no way. The next thing you know, Colin and I are on a flight out to New York City to sit in the studio audience at Martha. So today we are announcing the winner of this fabulous contest. We knew that Liz and Colin had won, but obviously the couples didn't know. And then came the commercial break before they announced the winner, and my heart started racing. They announced the third place winner. Jennifer and Lionel from Marietta, Georgia. And they announced the second place winners. Stephanie and Kyle. See, where are you? So then we knew. Oh, God, we've won. Liz and Colin from Metairie, Louisiana. Come on down. Got up and we ran down there and we sat next to Martha and then we had to think of things to say and you could see that Colin got up there and just looked around and couldn't stop staring at the audience. 
I just think you're going to have a really, really great time. I'm so, so excited. <laughs> Even though they might have been a little nervous that day, they were just excited about spending their lives together. So we knew it would be a fun wedding to plan. Now that we've won, it's time to celebrate in the city that we love. The city of New Orleans is such an incredible place. I could never think of growing up any other place or living any other place. The food in New Orleans is delicious, and you grow up in such a culture of food in New Orleans. We love to go out to eat with our friends. It's our good. And we started to think, how can we bring that to the Bahamas with us? How can we make our wedding just as delicious and just as fun? Cheers! Cafe du Monde is this awesome little beignet place in the French Quarter. And I just love getting cafe au laits and beignets there. And, and you always leave covered in powdered sugar. Oh my gosh. Cheers. Cheers. Colin and I love po' boys. We love to go on Friday afternoons to Parkway Bakery or just any other little place we can go to find a, a big sloppy po' boy. Oh, I love a messy roasty po' boy. <laughs> we really wanted to make sure that we could bring a little bit of New Orleans to the Bahamas and really just have a great time like we would in New Orleans. When Colin and I started dating in high school, our families became fast friends. We spend a lot of time together, often in the bayou, cooking and canoeing, just having a really good time. Hey, Dad. Hi, baby. How are you? Hi. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, thank you. It's a little bit off. Crawfish boils are a pretty big part of our family. It's just a real easy way to feed a lot of people uh, without too much work. The whole thing? Right. Yeah, the whole thing. We have a family business. I do cabinetry, uh, go to homes, and just design kitchens. We spend every weekend together. We work together. We play together. Most people wonder how in the world can we put up with each other for <laughs> such extended periods of time, but we have absolutely no problem with it at all. My glasses are all fogged up. <laughs> Can't see a thing. <laughs> Our family is very important to us. Uh, we all get along great. We grew up getting together with our family all the time. I just found him on the street. That just continues generation after generation. So Liz, who's going to the wedding? Um, pretty much everyone at this table. It's you two, my mom and stepdad, my brother and his wife, my dad and stepmom, and Kong's dad and, and grandmother. I'm so, invited? We'll you're invited! Everybody's invited. Oh. Colin and I have this wonderful opportunity. We've won this absolute dream wedding, but we've, we've been through a lot. We've been through a lot of hardships that I think have made us grown closer together. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans, which was absolutely devastating. Not only did me and my family lose our home, we lost most of our pictures, our clothing, our belongings. We bought this home when the kids were in high school, and we have many, many fond memories here. Colin's family on the other side of the river was fine. I think that's when they really supported us and stepped behind us. You know, when you get uh, a bad thing happen to you, you can lie down and cry about it, or you can get up and do something and make something better. I mean, our kitchen was redone by Colin's family's business. We would never have done this to our house if it hadn't flooded. Elizabeth and Colin were tested by the, the disaster that's Hurricane Katrina. So uh, if, if that didn't pull them apart, I don't know what could. Coming up, is Darcy and her team up to the challenge? This one, I think, might be really nice <gasps> for you. It is. It's time to personalize my dream wedding. Today is our first day of wedding planning here with our team of everyone and I'm so excited. We can't wait to see everything starting. I think bringing the Martha Stewart team into the wedding is, is going to bring it to a whole new level. More than anyone can do themselves. Do you like the one with the initials or true love? I like this one. Yeah, I like the initials. I like initial. the initials. The goal of 
bringing them to New York is to really face to face get to make some of these decisions. What do you want for your colors? What do you want for the centerpiece? These are um, some color choices that we have for this beautiful tent. There's an illustration there. I love that. To us, even though we've won this prize and it was this national contest, it, it's so important to us to bring a little bit of our personal side to it and our family side. Um, we we're thinking that maybe a late night snack would be okay. Um, yeah, maybe yeah, like beignets, kind of like Kathy Dumont style. Do you um, like those? Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. We just had beignets a few weekends ago. Have you guys ever had them? They're yeah. so good. Beignets? Oh. And then what about um, po' boys? Uh, a a, a staple for lunch constantly. <laughs> If Colin can get out for lunch, you go get oh, yeah. a rosy po boy, or the messier, the better. <laughs> Which is not always good for a light colored wedding, but. But it could be cute if we did little mini ones yeah. for late night snacks okay. after drinking hurricanes. Oh, or yeah. Keep mm -hmm. the party going. Mm hmm. That sounds great. That's and just then, like us. Yeah. You guys have got it. Okay, so New Orleans is um, known for um, parades and processionals, right? Like, exactly. they're a big thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so we thought it would be a really fun idea um, when you guys are doing your recessional. The whole whole wedding party can come out with maybe some instruments or um, music, or it could just feel like that. And that feels great for the Bahamas, yeah, the Bahamas too, right? Anytime you can have a parade, there's right. a parade. It's a cultural in the Bahamas to have a Junkanoo band, and they will parade you through the resort, and they wear costumes, and it's very brass music, and so I think that will theme in really well and kind of bring out the culture of the island. So you know the wedding that you want is for 10 people. Um, do you know, have you thought yet who you're gonna bring down? The way that 10 people works out is, is just our parents and, and blood siblings. And one person who can't be with us is, is Colin's mom. She passed away of breast cancer um, in January of 2006. And so it's very, very important to us to, to have her be as much a part of this as she can. Darcy had some great ideas as far as what we could do to kind of have it feel like my mom was there with us. Think about anything else that even might have been a locket that she had or something okay. that we could you know, pin onto your bouquet handle. In the bouquet, she wanted to do a breast cancer ribbon or just maybe even having Liz have something of my mom's just to know that it's there and that she's with us. I felt like the Martha Stewart team here really captured us and what we wanted and how we really wanted to stay with something very classic and elegant. We can really start to see our wedding now. It's, it's, we have something to visualize and picture and be excited about and, and can really see ourselves and our families there enjoying it. I think they were really happy and I know we're going to have a good time with them until we get them down the aisle. The wedding will have a classic and elegant look and now to hit the salon to find my wedding day look. Have you ever had a makeover? I never have, no. Not that you need it, no. but when you're getting married, this is a time. There's a few things that I notice right away when I'm looking at your hair. And one is the color. And I think we can make some vast improvements on the color. The one big thing that I want to notice is that, like, right here in the very back of your crown, uh -huh. it's very, very dark. Now. Oh, the other thing I'm seeing is when we pull your hair up, your first layer starts really, really long. It's kind of all the way down here. Mm -hmm. And when we do an updo, and if we wanted to leave some sort of softness, it would be nice to put in some breaks into your face. And that's a good tip for any bride who wants an updo to make sure you have some shorter pieces up front so that it can be a little looser. So we're going to start with your color. Okay. And then we'll... Go to the next step. Great. Perfect. Thank you, Paul. And I'm going to see Great. you, Liz, at Kleinfeld. I'm going to go down and start pre-selecting some Ooh, dresses. Perfect. So I can't wait to see your hair. Thanks. Oh, you are a wonderful <laughs> girl. I'm breaking up some of your larger streaks um, to smaller streaks with a low light. And then I'm adding a third color, which is gold. We're gonna let you sit for 20 minutes as the chemicals begin to brew and make you into that fabulous wedding blonde. I'm feeling so pampered right now. <laughs> what girl doesn't love having her hair washed? <laughs> 
So, Paul, New Orleans is so humid. What, how can I keep my ends and not so frizzy? Well, I think the, the thing you want to remember with your ends is, is the condition, condition, condition. Mm -hmm. Your hair is always going to feel not as soft, not as pretty, mm -hmm. not as hydrated. So we're going to stop blowing you out now. What do you think? Awesome. So amazing. I love the color. I love all the dimension you see in the color and how yes. many colors there are. It's beautiful to mix the colors. So that's great. Woo! Hi, so you're here. You're getting married. Yes, I am on May 13th in the Bahamas. The Bahamas? And How probably exciting. an outdoor ceremony, so I need a lot of help with makeup and oh. the heat and the Yes, and the definitely. Especially if it's outdoors. I'm gonna use a little highlighter before I put your foundation on, just to give you that glowy Caribbean look. Uh -huh. Let's work on your cheeks. Okay. I use a bronzer and I use a blush. Bronzer to contour your cheeks and a blush just to give you that peachy, rosy glow. Daisy, I see you're using such natural colors instead of using some heavier colors like I would think you would use for a wedding. We want to keep it nice, soft, and romantic. Now for lips. Oh, it's beautiful, Daisy. I love it. I feel very glamorous, and it doesn't feel like too much makeup at all. With my new look, I'm off the Kleinfeld to meet Darcy and pick out the dress of my dreams. Kleinfeld is probably the largest bridal salon in America with the largest selection of bridal gowns from different high couture bridal gown designers. Okay, Liz, so you can get kind of overwhelmed at Kleinfeld because we have so many dresses, okay? So we're going to try to guide you through this process. Perfect. So I need to know a little bit about you and how you want to look on your wedding day. I love a lot of texture and I, and I want to make sure I, I look timeless, that I can look back on the photos of my wedding and see myself at my best. This one, I think, might be really nice that for you. It is beautiful. I think that it's um, nice lace, it's packable. I love the texture of it, it's gorgeous. Texture. I think the taffet is nice and light, okay. but I think it's gonna be overpowering for you okay. once again. And again, I think probably that's too much volume yeah. for oh, right. being on the beach. In Bahamas in the uh -huh. middle of the summer, yeah. This one, however, I think also is fun and flirty. Oh, that's good. Kind beautiful. of romantic, kind mm -hmm. of your personality. It'll be fun when you move, when you dance in oh. that dress. It'll be, you can tell that would be a fun dress have to, to wear. have to try out some moves in it. <laughs> yeah. So tell me what you think of these choices. I'm thrilled at these choices. I love how different they all are and how each of them have its own style. And I can't wait to see how they look on me. Well, okay. I think that's what we should do because you really don't know until you put them on. Great. Absolutely. OK, let's go try them on. What do you think? I love it. So you love this. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be our starting point, And then we're going to try on another one and see if we like that one better. OK. OK? All right, great. OK, so let's okay. try on more dresses. Great. How do you feel about this dress? This one is beautiful. I love it. I don't feel as elegant as I did in the last one, but I still, I love yeah, it. Sure. Done. It's a gut feeling. Let's try on the next dress. Hello, hello. Tell me what you think. This one is beautiful. I love it. Now, how does this compare with the other, with the first the dress? One. I feel a little more like a party dress than a wedding dress in this. So. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. I do love, um, okay, the movement, and I love the fit of the bottom of it. Maybe we could go look at something more with the lace at the bottom with the fit of the other. Yeah. Okay. What do you guys think? What do you think? Okay. I think this is getting closer to what I want. Okay. It's, well, it still has that mermaid feeling. It has more volume on the bottom. What are you thinking? I, don't, I yeah. think it's between this and the first one. Either I want this one to be a little more flattering, right. or I want the other one to be a little more timeless. On, hey, isn't that the it. first one you had on? This is yeah. the first yes. one again. I couldn't stop thinking about it and just the fit. Thank and you. Okay. I love it. Oh, so that's you could do a, a gorgeous brooch that would pull in the silver mm -hmm. in your wedding. I think what you like is it's romantic. I think it's flirty. Mm -hmm. I think there's movement. I think it's perfect for the beach. It's going to catch the wind. Okay. How many people? buy the first dress they try on? About 85% oh. of the brides buy the first oh. one to three dresses oh. they try on. This dress feels me. 
It may not be as timeless as I pictured, but I couldn't stop thinking about it once I took it off. I, okay. I love the way it makes me feel. I have to ask you this now. Is this Badgley Mishka dress your dress? This is my dress. I love this dress. <laughs> Bahamas, here we come. All right. Okay. It's not just about the bride anymore. It's about the couple's wedding. And we want to make the groom feel just as important as the bride. This is a little slimmer fit. We're looking at some different color grays. I tend to go for more of the darker gray, but I don't want to go too dark because it's a Bahama wedding. And I like gray because it's a little maybe more unexpected than the khaki. Yeah. But it's still nice for the beach. And I think it's going to look good on you as well. And definitely a thin fabric, so I'm not sweating. So Colin, I'm going to ask you, just like I asked Liz, I have to hear it from my grooms, is this the suit that you feel hottest in? Oh, definitely. I really feel like this is a great suit. I do feel hot. Okay. Oh, no, wait. You want to look, look hot, hot, not feel, feel hot. hot. Colin and I are suited up and ready for fun in the Bahamas. <laughs> but not without tasting and testing our way to the perfect destination wedding. Emerald Bay Resort in Grand Exuma, Bahamas. For the past couple months, we've been planning with them. They came to New York. We went dress shopping. This is my dress. I love this dress. <laughs> ah! Hair and makeup. We really have had such an amazing team working on this wedding for us that we know no matter what, nothing can go wrong. Colin and I arrived a few days before the wedding to put our stamp on the final details. First stop, the cake tasting with Martha's go-to cake expert, Wendy Cromer. Here we are at the tasting. Oh, <laughs> yeah, everything looks beautiful. Well, this is another one of the fun parts of planning the wedding here. For starters, let's try the vanilla first. It'd be kind of like a wine tasting here. We start with the more delicate flavors first, and then take a little bit of the buttercream. Mmm, that vanilla's delicious. And with that buttercream, it's just slightly, slightly sweet. That's perfect. That's what we call our Swiss meringue buttercream. This is the recipe that we developed with um, with Martha Stewart. And this is the spice. This is the island spice. Island spice. This is a specialty to to the islands here, and um, they kind of puree the fruits before it goes into the fruit cake. So it's a little bit different. Cheers. <laughs> traditional enough for us. I think we like to go a little bit safer and a little more expected. Something something that we know everybody's going to like. Let's go with the chocolate now. Oh, I can't wait to try this one. I love chocolate. Mmm. <laughs> that's a good chocolate cake. That's delicious. And I love chocolate, so you know my vote's for the chocolate. Now that you've tasted everything, let's make some decisions, so... Um, what flavor cake might you like for the wedding cake? The... I think that chocolate yeah. is perfect. And then for your cupcakes? Let's do vanilla. Yeah, the vanilla. You can't go wrong with vanilla, so. I think everybody loves vanilla. I still think those are two of the most popular flavors, is mm -hmm. all the flavors we have. They're still the two most popular. Thank you. I think you made all the decisions we need to make today, so. Great. Well, great. Thank perfect. you so much. Now it's really starting to sink in. It's, we're here, now we're ready to get married. It's all coming together now. Now that we're here, we can just kind of relax and take a look at all the surroundings and where we're going to be having our wedding and what kind of food we're going to be having. It's great, we're so excited. What we love about having this destination wedding is that we can work and play at the same time. One minute we're tasting our wedding cake and then we're enjoying the Bahamas. And now we're off to figure out our wedding menu. This is going to be your first course. Um, this here we have marinated olives with prosciutto and melon. Also a choice of grilled lobster tail. Bon appetit. Thank you. Very good. The presentation on both were amazing, but I really loved this lobster tail. Especially since our family loves crawfish so much, I think that's, it's like a giant crawfish. I think it'd be perfect. Here we have a traditional Caesar salad. And over here we have a salad capri. Looks delicious, thank, thank you. Thank you. I really like this. The sauce on the side is very good, but I can't stop looking at your bread that you have on yours. 
I really like this salad. This yeah. might be the winner of this course. And here's your final course. Here we have a pineapple stuffed chicken. And here we have a stuffed beef tenderloin. This pineapple sauce is delicious. Very Caribbean. How's the beef? The beef is really good. And I know everybody in my family is a beef lover, so I know this will be their favorite. So I guess we'll just have to do what most people do at weddings and let people have a choice between the chicken or the beef because we can't pass up either one of these. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Once Colin and I had polished our plates, we met up with our family who had just arrived from Louisiana. How about that ride in? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> right, welcome! <laughs> How are you? Well, we just landed. Uh, the resort is beautiful. Uh, it's very warm here. We're, we're enjoying it already. Hi. Oh, you're Hi. Everything is just beautiful for a wedding. I, I don't think they could have picked a better location. They couldn't. they couldn't. And the breeze is wonderful. It's so cool and it's refreshing. We've never been to the Bahamas. This is really nice for everyone, and I think it's really brought a lot of us together. Well, I like the idea of having a very small wedding because we really get to um, meet Liz's family and spend more, you know, quality time with them. And that's the best part about having a wedding away from home. You get to celebrate with your family for a few days. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. We should cheers to this great vacation. Thank you. It's a nice, needed vacation. And it's just an enjoyable time with our family, relaxing, and kind of makes you forget about all the hustle and bustle of work life and city life and, and all the wedding planning, too. We're easily entertained. <laughs> I love seeing the expressions on our family's faces. I'm just so glad we were able to give this to them as a, as a treat and a gift and a vacation, as well as a wedding and a very special family memory. <laughs> this fried cock tastes like an oyster, kind of. Cheers. Cheers. We're just having so much fun here. It's just so relaxing, and it's so much fun. We're all enjoying being together. After lunch, the boys went off to play, and I brought the girls back to my room. It will be the first time they've seen my beautiful wedding gown. Are you guys ready? Ready. Ready. Here it is. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. It's really, it's not a dress that I thought that I would pick when I imagine myself in a wedding dress, but when I put it on, it just makes me feel beautiful, so oh, I had to get it. It's oh, yeah. And it looks like you. Oh. <laughs> you certainly really feel like a princess. No, She's the sweetest bride, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> Me too. Mom, hug Marjorie. My hands are full. <laughs> So here are the wedding bands that Colin and I are going to get to wear tomorrow. And then this one was Lurleen's. It was Colin's mom. So it matches the engagement ring. Oh, that's beautiful. Now that she is Do you know what's interesting? Though? Marjorie has the same band and really? wedding ring. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. oh, the same one. Lurleen would be thrilled. Oh, really I'm so thrilled to have her ring. It's such, it makes her such a special part of the day. This will be tomorrow! Tomorrow is the big day, so Colin and I meet up with Darcy to see how our weddings team incorporated a touch of New Orleans to our Caribbean wedding. We're going to serve at your wedding po' boys, which lobster, so perfect oh, wow. for being on an island. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. They're bite-sized little po' boys. Yeah, and I perfect. know your guests will love, love them. And then also beignets with cafe au lait with a little that bit of so bourbon delicious. in it. Mmm, I love beignets. <laughs> mm. How are they? Very what good. What if you feel like you're home? Just like mm -hmm. Cafe du Monde. <laughs> I love the powdered sugar. At least I'll be wearing a white dress. Exactly. <laughs> This has to pass our approval. Mmm, <laughs> oh. Darcy, this is delicious. I want to dip my beignet in it. <laughs> so good. Darcy, thank you so much for bringing little pieces of home. It makes us feel like we're not so far away from our beautiful New Orleans. Oh, good. Well, we want it to be a really personal experience for you guys. So glad you love it. Great. You did a great job. 
Welcome, everyone. We're excited that we're all here, and I know Liz and Colin are so happy that you guys are all here. So this is going to be the rehearsal for the ceremony for tomorrow. Ivan is our officiant, who is going to lead the ceremony. And because, so, let's face it, your wedding ceremony could be a little bit stressful. Get behind them. And like anything, if you're prepared, it's less nerve-wracking, both for the, the bride and groom and for the bridal party and their parents. There's endless things to be worried about and nervous about, but I'm so grateful that one of the things I just don't have to be nervous about is, is that Kyle and I are getting married. I think we're so ready for it. We're just so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait to be your wife. I won't be waiting too long. Tomorrow is the big day. I feel like a princess. It's your day. It's the tropical wedding of my dreams. Well, today is the wedding day. After all this planning, the day is here. Everyone had a great time at the rehearsal dinner last night, and um, they were out and having fun. I don't have time. My old, something new, something. I don't have anything borrowed. And then we have to find something blue. The bridal party are enjoying themselves this morning, and then midday we will start to get Liz ready. Now it's time for us to shoot the details from our Stuart Weddings for the magazine. We also really tried hard to incorporate personal details about them. Since they're high school sweethearts, we thought it'd be fun to make the program like an actual yearbook. What we do is we photograph all those details ahead of time. We set them up so that when the wedding actually happens, we don't have a camera in anyone's face. Come on. Anything for the perfect shot. So, today's the big day. Excited? I am very excited. What are we thinking about the hair? I think definitely up with the wind the way it's been the last few days. Okay. But I also like to keep it pretty soft around my face. Absolutely. What if we pull it around and instead of doing something like a typical, you know, just like a chignon and back, what if we move it around to the side? That sounds great. Sounds good? This one's exciting, a little bit different. Yeah. Still very classic, I like that. And beachy. Yes. So what are we going to do with makeup today? Yeah, I'd like it to feel really light and airy. Okay, good. So we're just going to give you like a nice sun-kissed glow, beachy, something waterproof. And you're going to look amazing. I'll definitely be crying a lot, so let's plan for that. <laughs> so, we're going to do waterproof face, windproof hair, pray for the best. Sounds good? Let's do it. This is making it feel real right now, that getting my hair done and my makeup done and being treated like a princess. So what I'm doing to protect your hair from all of this humidity and to give it some body is I'm just prepping each strand um, with some humidity control hairspray. Now we're big, now we got a good foundation. Let's see what we can do to take the hick out and bring the elegance in. I can't wait to see how all this is gonna come together with my dress and my accessories and the veil. I, I'm so excited, I'm thrilled. It's gonna be gorgeous, it's gonna be a surprise. I can't wait. <laughs> so, we have about four and a half hours to go until the wedding itself happens. And right now, Livia and team are all setting up the reception table. So obviously, the challenge is the wind. get married on the beach, you have the beautiful blue water as a backdrop. Um, so we kept everything else really classic and neutral, all the whites and off-whites in the tablecloth, the runner, the flowers, and um, Liz and Colin are a classic couple, and it seemed like the direction that they would like. Y'all think we should wear shoes since it's gonna be on the beach? Oh, I hope not. Are you nervous? Not nervous yet. <laughs> but I guess I'm more excited. Check these out, buddy. These are New Orleans water meter cufflinks. Oh, awesome. A little touch of home. <laughs> we gotta have some home here in the Bahamas. There you go. All right. Oh, they look great. You want me to do your tie now? 
<laughs> Do you think Liz is gonna cry? Oh, I definitely think Liz is gonna cry. She's gonna cry. <laughs> she, Liz, Liz is a crier. Looking forward to seeing what the wedding's gonna look like. We kind of were peeking around the corners and seeing how everything was gonna look, and we're really excited about how the wedding's on the beach. If we take the structure and put it down there on an angle, that the ribbon will fly, flow in the right direction because the wind's offshore. We, of course, hadn't anticipated this much wind, but it actually looks really pretty and it's kind of romantic, so. Uh, we're making the most of it. <laughs> Our team is um, putting the final touches on all of the personal flowers, the corsages, boutonnieres, and bridal bouquets. And uh, they're going to give them to the family who's getting ready in the spa right now. You guys look great. Don't cry yet. Happy tears. It's hard for her not to look gorgeous. Aww. You guys look amazing too. We're not a bad party, are we? Okay, no more crying, girls. All that makeup is going to be ruined. Yes. You have the whole night to cry. Um, and this is just one last gift before you go to that aisle from Martha herself oh. and our whole department, which are the Martha Stewart toasting flutes. Oh, oh, and nice. so we're going to put them by your cake. You'll use them for champagne tonight, and we hope that you'll pull them out for every, not only special occasion, but just every day as you celebrate your life together. And we're excited as Martha Stewart Weddings to be able to celebrate your special day with oh, you here at Sandals. Thank you so much. It's amazing. We so. love to toast, too, so. so <laughs> we'll pack them up carefully for the trip home. Okay. The wedding ceremony is finally here, and we are going to arrive in style. The Jonkadu band was just perfect <laughs> because it was a little bit of the Bahamas and a little bit of New Orleans all in one. Liz and all their friends are very spirited. They love to have a good time. So it just seemed the most appropriate music to get them down the aisle. After all the pressure and planning, my wedding is finally here. Just my friends and family barefoot on the beach. ready to watch me marry my true love. How are you doing? Good to see you. Oh, good to see you. Hey, which side are we going? Relatives and friends, of Colin and Liz. It is a pleasure to welcome you here today to share in the wedding ceremony that will unite Colin and Liz in matrimony. I, Colin, choose you, Liz, to be my wife. I, Liz, thank you, Colin, to be my lawful husband. My friend and my lover. Friend and lover. I will be yours in plenty. And in want. I will be yours in plenty. And in want. And in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will cherish and respect you. I will cherish and respect you. As my equal partner in my life. As my equal partner in my life. And together we shall live. And together we shall live. Free and bound. Free and bound. By our love. By our love. By the exchange of the covenant vows, 
and by the giving and receiving of rings, I herewith declare you, man and wife, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> my life and I get to spend it with my family and my new husband. And we're about to do what we do best. To call it in Liz. Call it in Liz. Call it. Celebrate. The ceremony was so beautiful, just you know, having the beach and the beautiful water in the background, having every, our family here and friends, it was just a great experience. My baby sister looked like an adult, I, you know, Aww. it was the first time I noticed that. <laughs> Colin was, was beaming when he was getting married, he was just smiling the whole time. Uh, usually you say that the girl was beaming, but Colin was beaming this time. We didn't know Liz and Colin, you know, six months ago. And, you know, when you think back that we do this contest and then you pick this couple and you get this little glimpse into this couple's life. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> We're not quiet people. We tend to make a lot of noise, a lot of hooping and hollering, a lot of celebrating. So this really kind of fit along in. Parading down to the beach was so much fun. It was almost like a second line in New Orleans, so it really made us feel at home. Oh, but you can That's second right. line like nobody yeah. else That's that right. I've seen. <laughs> I feel like you really got it We paid tribute to my mom today with, as you can see, we have um, pink ribbons, and Liz has some pink ribbons on her flowers. She's such a special part of this, our special day. We're thrilled to have a little piece over here and just keep her memory alive. So I have my something old. A pin inside from my grandmother that Jeannie wore at her wedding to my dad. And there's something new with the dress. And I, all day I couldn't think of what my something blue would be. And then I'm just sitting here looking at my family and I realized my something blue, so oh. Yeah. There you go. I'm so glad the hard part's over. All the crying is done, and I don't have to worry about my makeup running anymore. Now we just get to enjoy the evening. We're kind of interested to see well, the subtle differences that we're going to be between the Po' Boys in the Bahamas and the Po' Boys in New Orleans. It's neat because these are kind of grilled shrimp and usually we fry everything. It was luxurious. As a father bride, this was uh, this is logistic, perfect dream come true. The Martha Stewart people haven't missed a, a trick here. That's um, the table, the, I love the whole white theme with the, um, the white flowers, white tablecloth, white tent. Like I said, they didn't, they didn't miss anything. The cake! Who doesn't love wedding cake at a wedding? My first cupcake share with my husband. Oh, and my wife. Not enough sugar. We've got beignets coming out, frozen cafe au lait with bourbon. It's gonna be a great sugar rush at the end of the night. Woo, yum. <laughs> Our wedding dinner has been amazing. The setting is beautiful, the food is delicious, and we're here with all of our closest friends and family. It's amazing. <laughs>